Oh, you don't think I should try to make a YouTube video being a badass? Well, if you close $8,000 in a day, you can make a YouTube video acting like a badass too. Are you ready to get this Bitcoin chart? Let's get it. No one was hurt in recording this video. All right, yeah, just so, I mean, I've been posting stuff on Twitter. Um, I typically don't post what I trade, whether it's good or bad, but I see traditional market people doing it, so I'm going to start doing it. And uh, just to show you, this is fucking real. I don't have any positions open right now on my futures, and this is all in one day. I mean, uh, actually, this is another day. Uh, but what I posted, it was really in one day. I mean, look, I, however, 6,300 of it, of the 8,000, uh, it was from a trade open. So that one trade was opened, uh, what was it, around the April 24th, right when Ethereum was at uh, 3,000. It wicked up to 3,000. I caught it almost perfectly. I was at a small loss for a hot minute, maybe an hour or so, and then it uh, fell. Um and I, I got the huge move uh, to the downside. And I kept it open for a while. And I just closed it uh, yesterday. Uh, yes, two days ago. Yesterday, actually. Um, because I anticipate Bitcoin price could go all the way up to 35K here. I'm thinking more 33, but it might go a little higher. Um, so I decided to close it out because had I not closed this out, for example, even though I'm kind of ranting about my position there, uh, but um, had I not closed it, it would have gone down in value. So I would be technically losing money I didn't lock in. So I could have held it down to uh, like 800 buck Ethereum later this year or early next year. Um, and it would have been worth like $10,000 profit, but I decided to close it for that reason. I didn't want to see it go down too much uh, if we do rally to 35K. Anyway, so let's get the Bitcoin chart and just let you know, like what I'm posted on YouTube or Twitter and all that stuff, like this is real. Like, I mean, this is literally my futures account. Um, yeah, I typically don't fund it very heavily, but I like this sideways price action. I'm doing really well in it, um, making a lot of money and yeah, just in range. And so uh, I thought I would start posting and trying to get people. I know most people um, out there are, uh, a lot of people are holding their crypto down and you're down 80%. That's why I'm getting people trolling me when I say Solana's going to hit 12 bucks, which it probably is. <laughs> you think I'm crazy. It's going to happen. It, probably 20, it might only hit 22, uh, but it's going to go under 30 and it's probably going to hit 12 on a wick or, or a little lower. I mean, you're going to be surprised, folks. But anyway, um, I'm so a lot of people are uh, holding their stuff down. And really, I mean, I, I hate to suggest playing with futures because the learning process is long and you have to pay to learn, essentially. Um, and uh, most people don't make it out of that process. Um, and I would hate to suggest futures, but really it's the only, you can't really make very many good trades in spot price right now. It's hard to make your account increase. So if you're not somebody who wants to actually trade and do that uh, on futures, then you, the best bet for you is to, um, is, to uh, is to use futures. Okay. My wife wants me to be done. All right. Oh, I'm getting in trouble because I'm both smoking, uh, which she's not a fan of, and I'm up too late. So I actually was getting ready to go to bed, and I realized I didn't make a YouTube video, so this is for you, everybody. All right, let me, let's get to the charts real fast. Let me make my dumbass uh, small and make my dumbass stop rambling, so let's let's get here. I'm almost done. All right. Yeah, I'm doing a YouTube video right now. What's up? All right, let's get these charts. Here we go. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I got to make this fast now. Um. I'm on Cardano. We need to look at Bitcoin. What I'm looking for here is uh, is simply, I think that volatility has to raise, and it's gonna be it's gonna be explosive. In very general terms, once it explodes, the initial target, right? So there are two ways an initial target can be tinkered with. It's likely either going to be like, but a very immediate target though. It could go beyond both of these in both directions, but the immediate target is either going to be about 29,000 even, or it's going to be roughly 30,000, uh, I would say the weekly open, yeah, 30,000, just under 30,300. So it's more like 30,265 right there. So it's either going to be one of those two numbers, and it's probably going to happen tomorrow. That One of those lines will likely be hit, and and if that ends up being correct, um, yeah, it's probably going to happen pretty soon. 
And if that ends up being correct, there are two ways that price interacts with its a more immediate price target. All right. So where it starts hesitating and, you know, before it continues or revert, like uh, goes the other direction here. Um, and I'll show you those two ways here real quick. Is first, it'll either way. So what I'm about to show you, I'm going to do the inverse as well. The inverse is actually true as well. So regardless of which one it hits, it'll over it can overshoot it and start tinkering with the line before it either picks higher lows on top or it starts going on bottom and then reverses. But either way, that, that's actually too much. It either overshoots it and starts playing with the line in one way or another. OK, and it can do that to the downside too. overshoots it. Boom, 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 then comes up to it and plays with it. Right. So it overshoots one way or it will do a more fast immediate move close to it make some type of higher low go like this and then start flirting with it from the bottom a, a, like a probably a faster move volatility sorts itself out sorts itself out and then goes like that something to that effect those are the two uh, it's probably not that many pumps up and down, but I just kind of exaggerated the bottom one. The top one looks more realistic, though. Um, th that is a, another way. So these horizontal lines. So I can actually take off my trading channels. However, I wanted to show you that in two totally different types of analyses align. It simply is a little bit more like it doesn't guarantee it's going to happen and it doesn't make it like go from 50% chance to 90% chance, but it gives you a little bit more oomph to your confidence and that's going to happen, all right? I kind of like it without the background. This looks kind of cool. All right, anyway, those are the two ways. And I'm thinking that that initial move up or the move in general, it probably is going to wait until about 9 a.m. New York time on Thursday, which is halfway through the daily candle because daily candles open at nighttime New York time, right, at 8 p.m., okay? So at 9 a.m., it's it's 12 hours old, but that's probably when the volatility is going to go. So um, uh, and so sorry, I got off thought that when two things align, I forgot to say the second thing. Take off these. So if you can stop looking at these horizontals. All right. Just for a second. Actually, I can just delete them. It also aligns with what? These other lines, this trading channel. See that? It's very high probability. Of, of something like this happening and with the volatility being that low. So that's what you can expect in the next freaking 16 to 18 hours. It's it's probably going to happen. Is it guaranteed to happen? No. I just gave you four price paths, but I'm making four guesses. And I'm trying to explain to you those four things among the million things that can happen. Those are the top four. And I, you know, and this one I'm about to say about a couple of trolls and they're not even trolls they're people who simply think they're right and i'm stupid um it's just and, and there might be more people out there who feel that way who aren't brazen enough to like embarrass themselves <laughs> and try to make somebody else feel bad although yeah they, with the intent of trying to make somebody else feel bad there might be more people who feel that way which is why i'm dressing i'm not just like mad at trolls or anything i if some people are brave enough to like try to attack me that means probably 30 times more people have the same thought, but don't give two shits like they have better shit to do than, you know, type to me. Right. Um, and so that's why I'm going to get ready to say this. Um, so I've seen a people like a few people trying to, you know, say, oh, if you pick five different things, like you're just bound to be right. Ha ha ha. Your analysis sucks. Right. Like something like that. No, this is valuable shit. If you don't know how to make money. Off of something like this, then that's on you. That's on you. And I'm, I'm probably addressing like a decent amount of people here with that. Like, you know, you you, uh, you think it's silly to guess four or five things and you don't see the value. You truly don't see the value in it. It's better to pick one and be right. No, it's not. Especially when volatility is lower. You don't know which way it's going to go. You just know that a bomb will explode. Uh, uh, something is going to explode. It might not be a big firecracker. It might not be the, so that like all this price action on me. That's not like the finale of a Fourth of July in America. You know the fireworks displays. 
it's not that, but it's like a firecracker uh, in a pond. Like, it, you know, like you've seen those on YouTube or done it yourself, right? Like, it's a firecracker is going to explode. And I don't know which way it's going to go, but all I know is that it's probably going to explode. And that is valuable. And so this little rant that I'm showing you here is um, pretty much all I wanted to cover for the day. But there's a misconception here. Um, I feel that a lot of people don't have the right takeaway when I'm telling you reasons why price is going to move sideways. That's valuable freaking information, especially if you're skilled enough to make money from it or skilled enough to make money at all outside of a bull market where you can throw money at a freaking brick wall. You can throw a bricks at crypto and the brick turns to freaking silver at least. Right? Just because you saw money go to the upside and you did a little TA doesn't mean you know jack shit. Seriously, it does. And I, the same for me. Like in the in 2018 and early 2019, I did a lot of TA. You can go back on my trading view uh, published ideas. Dude, I fucking nailed the bottom of Bitcoin almost to the day. I nailed almost the drop to the day. Litecoin as well. I got $40 Litecoin exactly. And I was, I think, a week off on timing. Like I, I thought, oh, I know TA. In 2018, and when I tried to apply that late, I got my ass handed to me, right? And so, but I wasn't over bold enough to like tell uh, people out there, you know, oh, you're totally wrong and this and that. I didn't, even though I probably thought it a lot, so I can appreciate like that kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, so when price moves sideways, what the, the the reason why that's so important is because that shows you that you need to lock in any profits that you have on smaller turns, right? So you. If you typically are looking for a big daily oscillation up that last, so the daily oscillator, the, the Stokes, typically takes like 10 to 30 days to go from, from trough up back to a trough. That's like a month. Takes a while, right? And if you're, if you're betting on that stuff, but price is going to move sideways, you can use similar strategies, but like on the freaking 15 minute chart. And that oscillation from on, on this here, let me just show you. Um, let me. Stop freaking making signs in the air. Uh, the 15, yeah, so perfect. So the oscillator here, you'd be taking profits quickly on one or two oscillations. And look, so from trough to trough, what did I say? Did I say a couple hours? I, I can't remember what I said. Look, that's five hours on the 15-minute chart from trough to trough. Um, on the daily, when I say about a month, I actually don't know. Let's see. Is that right? It's close. 18 days. 22 days. 30 days. Yeah. So yeah, uh, about two thirds of a month to a month and a half, uh, probably. Yeah. So this one's probably a month closer to a month and a half, middle of the trough, middle of the trough, month and a half. Yeah. So about a month. So a month on average is probably good. So I was right. <laughs> I didn't actually know. <laughs> but after I said, it, I thought to myself, you know what? I could just be making that up and I don't actually know, but I, I guess I did subconsciously know. Um, and so th that's what it means. The implications of information that I think a lot of people um, aren't, seeing the value in and maybe maybe i'm just not saying it clearly or what or you're you know um it's just hard to understand it um and it's it's hard for me to bridge the gap from somebody who studied charts and practiced trading for years now um maybe that gap of communicating to somebody without that years of knowledge i'm not maybe not bridging that gap but i'm here to tell you like when i give a piece of information it seems boring Maybe ask me, like, you know, it says this, this seems like a non, you know, like not valuable information. Like, what's the value? And then if I forgot to communicate, feel free to ask me because I'm trying to only make content for free ass content. You're welcome. Right. I try to make it valuable. And you notice that, you know, there are some uh, TA folks out there who, you know, they might be saying the same shit almost every like, at least half of every, you know, every show they do. I try to switch this shit up for you, right? I, I'm trying to give you value. Um, and so if something doesn't seem valuable, it probably is. And that would be my challenge for you. You hear me say something that's not valuable, unless I'm talking about like uh, quantum mechanics. <laughs> uh, if I start ranting about stupid physics and science and stuff, maybe that's not that, that valuable. Small rants. <clears throat> but if I'm giving a concept that it seems like, oh, you said nothing. I've seen that comment before. Oh, you know, eight minutes, you said nothing. No, I did. You're just not getting it. You're not experienced enough to understand why it's valuable. And on my end, though, I'm not sometimes maybe I feel like from these comments, it feels like I'm not communicating myself, um, bridging that gap from my level of practice and and, and uh, what I've done here and um, studying uh, to somebody who hasn't had that time.
Well, I also apologize, but I, I want to apologize and challenge you. If this is ever a moment, it seems like we're not saying jack shit. I, I probably am. Um, and I challenge you to figure out what it is, even if it means to ask me a question. That's what I got, so I already pissed my wife off, so you just got to Timothy worldwide. Get the hell to sleep. Later.